Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creator for YouTuber that's trying to be a long no by. And today it is my third part in my 13 days of red and if you don't know what this is, this is my little mini series now during December so I am putting up a video each other day. Why can't I like never remember this? Uh, every odd date until the 27th this December and the thing is I'm going to spell Merry Christmas with my palettes so today I am at an R and there is a lot of R's in Merry Christmas I noticed so the palette that I'm going to use today is the, the Natasha Denona retro palette and I do not love this palette I not barely even like the palette <laughs> looks like this if you didn't know and the thing is with my 13 days of red I am always going to use a red lipstick to these looks and yeah what kind of red will I use with this I have no idea and I have no idea what I want to do I have tried this palette a few times now and I still haven't done a look with it that I have been really liking and like if you think of the price of this palette, I want to really really love this palette, but I just don't and I have no idea what I want to do. I use kind of a lot of the shades I would say, but but I guess I'm just going to prime my eyes, we get started and we will see where if I if I can figure this out. And it feels like I have done all the different tones from this palette. I have done maybe more nude mauve and like pinkish and yeah. It feels like I have done a lot of different looks. So I and I think I have done like a grayish one as well. And if I'm now going to try to like it's going to go with a red lippy. do I do this but like I needed to take a palette that starts with an R. R or and I just don't know what people see in this palette okay I'm going to start with this Andy at least <laughs> okay I, I will do that and we will like see how this will evolve and I have no idea like how I want this to turn out and the thing that I am not like super thrilled when it comes to come to this palette is I think a lot of the colors aren't true to pan and I think they are much darker but this is actually it feels a little bit lighter and not true to pan either but I get the feeling like when I have talked about this palette that I am not the only one that is not like super excited by Natasha Denona. And that really makes me happy. Because I <laughs> like when I finally bought I have had a smaller Natasha Denona palette, the Mini Love, which I didn't like. I did decluttering it and why I did buy this one then I have no idea but I did and I <laughs> did use this because people did rave about this palette so so much and I bought it and I was really like okay I hope this is good because it costs a lot of money I bought it I think it was 20% off on Sephora but like I was still I do really want to like it and this is not my normal color story that I usually go for but that is the reason why I did buy it because I wanted something I was like if I buy something that I don't have that I like miss out in my collection maybe I will use it more than because I don't have anything other to take instead but I don't know like if that was a good choice the only thing now was like how am I going to how am I going to fit in a red lip to this so the question is like in which direction do I want to go 
And you know what? I'm actually going to swatch because I don't know if I can figure this out if I don't. So I think I have like these two choices, but these are not going to go good with my crease shade. Maybe these two. Yeah, I'll take these two. So that is fudge. This is a grove and this is a swing. So these two. Is that going to be a good look? Maybe not. I'm thinking maybe if I'm going to go in with some of the really light shimmers like this one or this one. Let's see, but I will start with the grove one, the darker one. And maybe I should have taken this a little bit in my crease as well. I'm going in with with it a little bit in my crease first. Like Natasha Denona has been a brand that I do really want to like, or maybe I don't because it is an expense, it's a high end brand. But my friends and a lot of people on YouTube seems to really love Natasha Denona, even like people in Sweden and in the US and people just seems really like happy about Natasha Nona and it feels like everybody okay maybe not everybody but a lot do have like a favorite Natasha Denona palette and I did buy the bloom you know the face palette I I didn't like it but I don't know if it is because it was a little bit dark for me, like the highlighter didn't work and uh, the blushes they did work but it wasn't like if you buy a face palette for that amount of money I want all the shades to work and it didn't so I did the cluttering that one as well. But it feels like a lot of people do have like a favorite product for Nat from Natasha Nona, either a palette or something for their face and I just wanted also like to get the hype with Natasha Denona but I haven't like I I don't get it and I haven't tried any other base products like a foundation or anything and I haven't tried their um, eyeshadow base that I know that a lot of people do like but I'm just like I don't know if it is like I have never been a high-end person like never ever I have either been a drugstore person or an indie brand because I I don't mind to pay a lot of money for makeup if it is good. I don't mind that at all, but I don't know if I think there is so much things that are like the only thing that is good is super expensive. I think there is a lot of dupes and uh, I have a hard time to justify buying expensive makeup when I know there is more affordable makeup that works as good as the more expensive one. But do you know what? I do like this. <laughs> what is going on? Not maybe like the best ever. Okay, I don't know if I want to take... Maybe not take this darker shimmer, this swing. Maybe go in with one of the lighter ones. So I'm taking out my swatchy fingers. So we will see. These are really similar. So either this psychedelic or glitz. But I actually think that I will go in with psychedelic. And I do think that I want to... my crease. I do want to do that so I'm taking my little trust the glitter primer and uh, I think like one of the latest things that I've owned that was uh, more high-end I guess it is a little bit hard I think because some 
things that are high end in Sweden or like high end prices in Sweden aren't high end prices in the US. Um, because in Sweden it feels like everything is more expensive. But I like I had the um, Eastrop from Fenty that I did really like. I did enjoy it and I thought it was good. But at the same time, I have cheaper foundations that I like more. Like, I do really like the serum foundation from The Ordinary that isn't expensive at all. And I'm like, I do really like that one. So, so maybe like um, this eavesdrop isn't worth all the money. Is this more of a topper? I guess so. And I think it is a little bit same with this one. Like I do expect more. And if I don't get more, I don't know if I think it's like super worth it. But like hearing people talk about Natasha Denona, that how amazing it is and that they just love the formula and everything. I did have really high hopes, like really, really high. And high expectations for it as well, so maybe it's my own fault that I don't like it. I am going in with this darker shimmer, this swing as well, to see if I can connect these so I'm just going in a little bit and one thing that maybe isn't or is one reason that I am not like super amazed by Natasha Denona she have like different formulas on her eyeshadows like in the palettes it's some like cream to powder and <laughs> if you have been here on this little channel you know that that is not something that I do really care about. Like, I want a good shadow. I don't care if it is a cream to powder or if it's a shimmer with the... I don't know. That is just not the thing that I do really like. So maybe it's a little bit because of that that I am not like super thrilled about this. I don't know. But I... <laughs> I wouldn't say that I don't like this, but um, I don't think it's like super unique. And I do nagging on about this like always and forever. But I want some. Now in my no buy, I like fry, strive, fry. Now in my no buy. I really want my eyeshadow palettes to be more unique and just not <laughs> um, I don't know the word but I I want my palettes to be more special and I think it is because I've used so much more of my palettes this year than I've done before so now I like really know what I do have in my collection it could be that but yeah nothing wrong with this I'm not like super impressed and I don't know like a red lip to this was was this a good idea really oh, we'll see what I have <laughs> maybe not something like super red maybe a little bit deeper Um, I will cut my crease off cam fix my base and then I'm going to try to pick out some lipstick choices for this one and we will figure this out together the lipstick what will go best I will see what I have in my little bag with lipsticks so I come back do I have problems yes I do I have taken four now that I think might can go good with this like this I, I, I need to swatch these so I don't know where to put them I was taking sherry from uh, LH cosmetics why do I put myself through this and then I take Red Roses from Lime Crime? <laughs> Nothing is going 
going to go good with this. Extra saucy from Dose of Colors. Like, was this was a stupid idea. And super clicky from NYX. These are the red ones. And I don't think that no one will go good to this. Maybe the LH Cosmetics in Cherry. Because I think this is too red. This was the one from Lime Crime. Red Roses. I think this is too red. And I think this is too red as well. Maybe this. Oh, I actually think that we will take we will take I will take Sherry from LH Cosmetics. I don't think it's going to be good. It's not going to be great. It doesn't look super good. But I guess I will go with this. I think it just have to work. So for my face I did use Ombra from Nabla. Also, I don't want to drop this. <laughs> Kendra from Nabla, that is one of the single blushes, and Ozone. And for my waterline, I did use Amethyst Hour from Colourpop. And I think this might be my favorite look that I would done with this palette. So I did take Andy, Grove, Grove Swing, and Psychedelic. And I do not mind this look. I just wish that I didn't have my 13 days of red, but here I am having a red lipstick. And I don't mind to have red lipstick together with a purpley eye, but um, I just don't think that this was the best red. But I like don't know which red that would have gone better. Like I think I have a lot of lipsticks that I would have taken instead. I think Mellow More from LH Cosmetics would have been great. Um, but th that is not the red, so... But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and I oh, I wanted like to show with my 13 days of red and I think that I show that... Trying to show that... I think I'm trying. I'm trying to show that other times as well on my channel that like you can have a red to the most looks. You just need to find the red that goes good and... Did I succeed today? Maybe not, but here we are. Because I'm also doing with these 13 days of red, I am not going to use the same red lipstick twice, so this is going back where it's belong and not in my little bag that I have all the red lipsticks. And like I have some, I think another one that would have gone good to this one, Rapture from Lethal, but I want to save that because I think I do have other looks that I'm going to do that will look so much better with that one. So that is also a little bit of struggle, like I can't take one and use it. I can only use them to one look, so, but I guess this works kind of good, I hope, and I just want to show you that you can like take red too, whatever. But yeah, <laughs> that was all for this video. I do hope you like it, and do I like the retro palette a little bit more? Maybe. Do I think it's worth the money? Maybe not. But yeah, uh, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos, and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!